Yorkshireman who uh, went to the European final this year, leading this group of riders. And behind him, Oxford's Martin Dugard, one of those performers who we look forward to seeing here this afternoon. That looks like Gary Tag from Hackney tucked in behind him. Then number 12, Andy Riley. Then number 9, a rather number 8, Paul Smith, King Clint Speedway man. Number 25, Mel Taylor from Rye House. A lot of fans for him. Peter Lloyd coming round, I see, with that distinctive number four. Number 33, Gordon Kenneth, Beast Born. Number two in the world, remember, only a few years back. Number 32, Mike Beaumont. Adrian Mower has got 154 on his bike. Number 14, Simon Cross, the Cradley star. Behind him, number 21, Rob Tilbury, Arena Essex. Number 19, going by Alan Moggridge, the Ipswich man. Number 30, Alan Rossiter, who rides with Poole. Number 23, in Humphreys, another Arena Essex one. And going by, number 2, Coventry in England, Calvin Tatum. Consistently successful men on the British grass track scene. Trevor Banks. Still sporting that Vienna. <laughs> Martin Dugard showing us there really is a lot of grip out there when you use a GM engine and a BRM frame. And here come the sidecar, Jim, headed by Dave Harris and Roger Mieser. Well, indeed they are, Tony. Of course, last year's winners of the Bonfire Burnout. It is, of course, Roger Mieser and Dave Harris. Fabulous to see them back here again. And indeed, fabulous to see Dave uh, passionately for Roger to finish this season off. I can see we're going to start to get a few uh, solos mixed in with our sidecars because Will James is coming round off the top corner. But the sidecar crew, you can see in those very distinctive letters just about to come by me, is, of course, Ken Lane and, and Eddie Elvis. Problems for Ken Lane down at the Aces last week. He's uh, indeed told me during the week he's transferred the engine over to this outfit, so fingers crossed for him. Pete Colvin coming by me, a rider very well known to you in the Ken area. Pete Colvin and Gary Pease. And, of course, another one. Well, there we are, his father and son. Of course, you recognise Mike Cameron. Rob Cameron is the man that's taking the outfit this afternoon. Duncan Tollers, Will James is in Kitchen, and Rob Tilbury. The numbers in the bracket are their starting positions on the start line. <laughs> They're uh, still coming into line. There's one more. They're all in line now. We're away. And then looking across to the far side, it's a Kitchen, Gating Well. We'll now change it. So Will James and look at that battle for second place. And it looks as though Winston Kitchen has been pushed back to fourth place. Peter Lloyd is here. Looking over his shoulder, looks at Lee Pavitt and Peter Lloyd and Winston Kitchen and Andrew Riley. And finally, this group of riders, we've got one of the reserves in there. It's uh, Rob Ledworth, in fact, of course, as I told you. Riding number 39, not five. Uh, In the paddock there, the clerk of the course has given a warning to Vincent Kitchen. A warning, warning to Vincent Kitchen, I think, for uh, taking out markers. Let's run through those numbers again. They are 24, 27, 9, 4, 12, 39, 20, and 21. Time again, 1 minute 17.66. This is race two. It gets underway.
And the winner's time, 1 minute 15.73. 1 minute 15.73. The numbers 29, 28, 11, 2, 17, 32, 19, 22. Race 3 gets underway. They're keeping us busy.
Mike Baxter. Interesting perhaps to see how Mike Baxter goes this afternoon. He's on uh, different machinery. Appears that his brother is intending to race next year. He went out and bought Dave Heath's outfit. Dave, of course, buying uh, a new Brian Ash machine. And for this afternoon, Mike Baxter has persuaded his brother to let are those in the brackets behind the names. Looks as if we're ready to go. All six outfits now are coming to the line. Indeed, the tapes go, and we get underway with the second of our sidecar races. in all sorts of problems there, losing his passenger on the start line. So, Vaughan Roberts losing his grip on the start line. I'm not sure if you're going to be 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 going to be
come through and move up further into the field, but Mr. Kitchen riding well ahead of
16. I think they've uh, swapped positions. I was looking for Rob Cameron on grid 5 and you can see that he's over on grid 2. So Pete Watkins and Rob Cameron swapping gate positions. I'm sure that was done in pure innocence, but both of them seem quite happy with it. And indeed, we've now got all six crews on the line. Ken Lane trying to uh, gain a little bit of an advantage there by taking a, a flying start, but the start is not allowing it. He's been pushed back into line. That's right out there on grid one. This time the starter looks happy. He moves into his box. No, he's saying that uh, he's not happy with anybody pushing the tapes at all. All of them back in line behind the tapes. Well, at least I thought they were. It looks like it from here, but no, obviously they're not happy with Ken Lane. He's going to go back a little bit further. Well, the revs have died, but they come up again. So it looks as if we're now under starter's orders, and away we go with race 14 in your programme, and all six outfits coming together as they come past us. Another tremendous start from Alan and John Blewett. Missed out first time in their first ride. Ahead 
of Andy Riley, and Riley fights back, and Andy Riley, the Cheshire gamekeeper, goes for the back wheel of Hill.
Hayes. Last lap back goes to Rob Wilson. Rob Cameron still holding second and Mike Banks in third. And it's now Ian Ayer and Scott just in front of Pete Corbin to get that fourth place.
Alvin Tatum from Peter Lloyd as we look across to our right. So, Crossy out in front once again, and Mike Bowman in a fighting second place.
is Andy Smith in third place, Chris Morton. In fourth place, number 19, Tom Wilson, Alan Farmer, Gordon Kennett, Marvin Cox, Will James, Rob Ledwith, Adrian Mower, and Duncan Tolhurst. And remember, Marvin Cox has already had two wins this afternoon, so the Oxford Speedway man going well. Will James had a win in his first outing.
Martin, and what a tragedy. He really did look as though he was going to be first or second. The tremendous battle we saw, and then he had to drop right back. Final, but let's go through the lineup again. We've got number 12, that's Neville Benfold and Lee Carpenter. Also coming to the line is number 22, Ian Aram and Ian Rohan. Number 21 is Dave Manning and Peter Blank. Number 99 is Pete Colvin and Gary Pease. Number 55 is Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock. And number 88 is Mike Baxter and Vaughan Roberts. The tapes go and away we go for the first of the sidecar finals. It's the consolation sidecar final. It's Dave Manning has made a tremendous start. Dave Manning and Peter Blank it is a dive into that first corner. Jerry Adams has picked up second place at the moment. Down the
surely it was just that, with Marvin Cox doing everything he could, gating superbly, getting away, and slowly but slowly, Simon Cross pulled him back in. We saw Trevor Banks come through from, by his standards, a poor start, and come up in the contention to take that. Six laps once again, we've got six laps to prove that if you miss the start, you can actually make it up. Neville Pinfall proved that in the B final. We do hope that it's going to be that sort of race in the A final. All six outfits are away cleanly, so we're underway with the grand final, 489. Roger B. Stewart is fighting with the outfit as he cuts across the line, but it's Steve Smith and Keith Wall that are diving into that first corner. So
wants to make sure the hat is set up right before he puts it on his head. <laughs> we always keep meeting, he's always in the top part of the successful entry in any grass track in this country. Trevor Banks! <laughs> Come on in, Simon, let him take pictures of you. And then we'll have a few words. 